Hey, this is John with DIY with You Do It. Uh, in this video, you're gonna see how I build this planter here. This is a two foot by six foot planter that is made out of two by six lumber, pressure treated lumber and four by four posts for the legs. Hey, this is DIY with you do it. Today we're gonna to build a planner. I have my instructions. So this is my plans, rough plans. It's just uh, built out of four by four and two by six lumber and maybe a couple of two by four cuts uh, to secure the bottom. And we're gonna have this hardware cloth below, this is a uh, steel, so this is one half inch steel mesh. It's gonna be on the bottom of the planter to hold, help hold the dirt in, plus landscape fabric that I have. The tools that you'll ideally have will be either one or both a drill driver, an impact driver, uh, a bit set, so this is my DeWalt bit set here, and I'm gonna use this for using the Phillips head on these screws here. These are deck screws that I got, three and a half inch deck screws. You'll want a pencil, a square, may not need a square, but if you do, it's there. A tape measure. You'll want some clamps. So here I have the easy, easy hold. These are the 600 pound clamps, very strong. Uh, optional is a router. So I got my Bosch router here with my skill bit set. And we're gonna use two bits from here. One is gonna be a round over bit that we're gonna use and the other is going to be the chamfer bit. So we're gonna use the chamfer bit to give a nice chamfer to the boards that are gonna wrap around it. So that way it's easy on the eyes. But the top and the bottom of the boards will be rounded, just so that there's no sharp corners on any of the boards. And the lumber that I have is I got a four by four uh, by 10, and we'll cut them down to approximately two and a half feet. Uh, the, so the four by four by 10 is really four by four by 10 feet, one half inch. But we're gonna make three cuts and square off the edges. So it may be slightly less than two and a half feet each but whatever we choose, we'll make sure that they're identical across all four of them. Then we need four two by six by six foot, because we're gonna have two across, two, one above the other on both the front and the back. And then for the sides, we're gonna do four two by six by two feet, six foot long, two feet wide, and about 10 inches, maybe 11 inches deep. I do have a countersink bit. We just got this at WorkbenchCon. Uh, this is the Montana brand uh, drill driver 4-in-1 countersink bit. So I'm gonna use this for my drill. So I'll take that out of the package now and get it in our drill so we're ready. And I'm gonna clear this off and I'm gonna use, this is my table saw, but I'm gonna cl clear this off and use use my, uh, so I'm gonna clear this off and put my DeWalt uh, miter saw on here. So I'll have these two drills. I'm gonna use this extension. This, so this is my DeWalt. Um, it's in a tough case. This is my DeWalt driver bit set. And I'm gonna use a number two Phillips with this. So number two Phillips, pop that in here. So you know it's not coming out. And then we'll put that in here like that. And now that's locked in place. 
we are ready. So both drills. Alright, so here's my saw. This is one of my favorites. Now I just bought a new one, the DWS 780. Uh, but this saw here has a special place in my heart. My cousin, my cousin had an issue with it and it wasn't working. So he gave it to me and I got it working. And I got to keep it. Which was nice. Oh, look at that. Okay, it fits. All right, I got my pencil sharpened. All right, so this board is 10 foot and one half inch long. So we will cut this at the halfway point. So we'll do five foot and one quarter inch right in the middle of that line. Look at how easy that cut. Okay, that was amazing. Okay, now we're talking 60 and one quarter inches, which is what we wanted. All right, so now we cut this in half. Okay, there we go, there's our 30. 30, so we want the left edge of it. That's why I like the combination square, because it's got the 45 built into it, it's awesome. So, yeah, all that goodness. So, yeah, we're gonna go this way. And we're gonna make a mark at the two foot line down here. So since we have an inch to play with, I'll go a little bit further than that. So the two foot mark will go two foot, uh, one quarter inch, somewhere around there. And then we can trim it off on the other side. So that's where our two foot mark is. And then we're gonna come in here like this. And then we'll have to transfer this measurement over to the other side, right? So then we are at the two foot. So there you go. And now we can transfer this measurement to this side, like this here. And this is our guesstimate right there. And that's why I like a combination square. So now we got our 45, it tracks the line very nicely. And we got a 45 here, which is perfect. So now we just need to make two more cuts on this board. Sweet. Okay. Better. Stand this up. So we want it to be 24 inches. So we'll put a mark on 24. Right, so that's our 24. And now we want our 45 to track that. So our 45 tracking that is right here. And then we cross this here. There's a nail on that board. It didn't cut down nearly there. Make a mark for 72. Make a mark for 72. OK. 
Okay. All right, now we gotta translate this mark up. All right, so I marked out where I'm drilling uh, the, the pattern for attaching the screws. So I have that pattern here. Uh, I could do just three across at a diagonal uh, to give it some rigidity. Uh, but this, I just want to make sure I don't go too far into this. I don't want to hit the steel, the aluminum deck here. Let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five. All right, so it's countersunk a little bit. Uh, when we secure, when we secure the screws, it'll definitely, uh, definitely suck it in. Okay, and then we want inch, three and a half. So that's a quarter, inch and three quarters. Drill, drill, drill. Gonna get our bit set out here. Okay, there's two bits we want. We want the chamfer. Okay, got the chamfer. And then we want the round over. We don't need a big round over, just a little round over. Okay, got our two bits. Yeah, this is the uh, skill bit set. This is the 30 piece router bit set. I like it a lot because it has a lot of the bits in there ready to go. Okay, so then the chamfer bit, we can put it down so that so it's just below that. We're just knocking off a little bit, not a lot. That's all we're doing. Just giving it a little chamfer. That's where the two pieces will meet. And then we'll do a round over on the other sides. All right. Yeah, so what I did here with this chamfer was make it so that when we have the two boards that are uh, connected together, you'll see that nice little 45 degree indent in there, and it'll give it a give it a little bit of character that maybe others who are crafting aren't going through that extra effort. All right, so now we need our screws. We got our drill, we need our clamp. 
Got some screws, get her drill. All right, we get our board. Get our clamps so that they're ready to go. Chamfer goes in the middle. All right, so that's the chamfer there. So we'll do that there, this way. So we got that, so we got one, two, yeah, okay, so we gotta come this way some more. There. All right, so, we get our boards square, but we want the chamfer. Ah, uh, this is not the chamfer side. Not a lot. Okay, so we're going to put in two screws on each side just to secure it. Beefy clamp in here. Ditch that one. Oh, that countersinking is nice. So, chamfer to chamfer. Okay, so that's the chamfered side. Straight like that. together. Uh. Alright, there you go, homie. Alright, so see we got enough screws in, right? At least two on each board. Alright now can we lift this up? Oh my god. <clears throat> Holy crap. Whew. Oh boy, hitting the camera. Now, can we do this without destroying it? gap here all right so we finished building this uh, now I'm gonna add some finishing touches I'm gonna use the router 
with a roundover bit and we're going to go around both the outside perimeter and the inside perimeter including the 4x4 four four post. So I have my Bosch router here, same one we used to do the chamfer. I'm going to remove the chamfer bit here and we're going to make sure that we just go past the little, uh, the little notch because we just went around over. This is an 11 16th wrench I'm using. I don't know what happened to the spanner that it came with. Alright, so now we're going to do the legs. We won't do the very inside corner, but we're going to do the three outside corners. All right, we're gonna stand this up. Oh my God. All right, so I'm just attaching this to the four by four. Uh, I think we have four. Four? Yeah. <laughs> All right, today we're going to spray paint the bottom of this with Flex Seal. And then we'll put in, then we'll put in this grate, this mesh, and then line it with fabric. So we got a can of Flex Seal. This is a black, I believe. So, yep, it's black. Alright, and then I'll spray around the perimeter here a little bit. Alright, and now I got the bus stitch stapler. Got some staples in it, can't tell how much though. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, looks like we got enough. Uh, so I'll just have to span the wire. So I want you to see that right there. So this is my. The Walt. 
flex hose. And this is what we're going to pull out to the to work with the uh, the Bostich pneumatic nailer. All right, so now that we're done spraying, we're going to put down this this mesh. And I got my snips here. And so we'll remove this plastic. Uh-oh, a lot of force in there. <laughs> but he wants a spring right open. Oh, there you go. Got that. All right, so now we need enough. This is five foot long and the inside is just a little bit less than six foot. It's like five foot, nine inches, I think. So we need enough to get us from the one part to the other part. then I can fold that up okay so yeah so that'll go like that okay same thing here so we're going back two three four five six okay so then we can fold this down like a show Instead of folding up two, I'm folding up three at a time there. Okay, and this side we're going to put here. And we'll go to the edge. So we have plenty to reach there. All right, so this is just a weed block. So uh, we control this is three foot by uh, 50 foot. So we'll just uh, double it up. Here. Of course it doesn't want to cut with regular scissors. And so now we'll just get this sitting in here. We'll staple it up to the edges. fabric is down now they can load it up with dirt and uh, get their get their plants in there so the purpose of the flex seal is really to shield the wood from the moisture because um, you know the the moisture from uh, the constant contact with the dirt will deteriorate the wood so by doing this, we're helping to minimize it. All right, so now we have the fabric installed in the bottom. So this is um, this is now over top of chicken wire. The chicken wire is to give it the extra strength so the dirt doesn't collapse the chicken wire. And we also have two by sixes and two by fours giving extra strength underneath with three inch screws. And all this construction is three inch screws. There's at least three screws per board into each 4x4 four four. and the 4x4s four four are two and a half feet tall so this structure is two by six by two and a half feet tall so yeah buddy